Turkey Dance with Feathers, Chimes, and Cannon with a How to Hunt Turkeys Illustrated Slideshow. This is an audio extract from an old radio show that I've supplemented with some photography to actually show you how to hunt and process turkeys. The last story that I'll tell you is Turkey Dance with Feathers, Chimes, and Cannon. Now, this was recorded before a live but not particularly lively audience in a southern bar about closing time. So you're going to hear all kinds of strange noises in here when I get started besides in the story, and that's just part of it. And so we're going to get you started right quick with Turkey Dance with Feathers, Chimes, and Cannon. Nobody here but Fred, and he's passed out. Fred, Fred. He's gone. All right, go ahead and tell your story. I want to hear it. I'll clean up and go ahead and get started. This way, have a beer on us. There. Ah, that's good. Thank you. As anyone knows who's turkey hunted, we use locator calls. And sometimes these locator calls can get very, very interesting indeed. Now, I have used some rather strange ones. So this story has to do with using turkey feathers, chimes, and cannon. And how this works out on different turkey hunts. Well, let's start off with turkey feathers. Turkey feathers come from the wings of wild turkeys. And so I use these to make fly down noises and scratch in the woods. This is fairly well known and a lot of people use these too. But not many people use these cannon things. And how did I ever get involved with using cannon? Well, worked out this way. You know that turkeys gobble to thunder? So it dawned on me that using cannon would work too. And I happened to have a little cannon. Yeah, I did. And so I took this down, and I put it down in this little ravine. And early in the morning, got my little field piece, and I set it up, and I got it so it would reverberate around. And then I fired. Boy! And it reverberated. And then I went... Yeah, I did. And he went, come on, come on. Okay, so now I knew exactly where the turkey was, and I could go out there and I could go get him. So that was the cannon. Now, perhaps the strangest thing I had was chimes. Turkeys also respond to backup noises. I found out because I was hunting some company lands, and there was a lot of equipment running around there. And when the heavy equipment backed up these days, they have backup bells on them. And guess what? On my back porch, there was a chime that also made noises. When I got out of the woods, in that particular area, I could sit down, get quiet, and go. And turkeys would go, come on, come on, come on. That sort of worked. So now it was time to put all this stuff together. Yeah. So we had turkey chimes, and we had turkey feathers, and we had cannon. So I was going to do a climactic hunt. I was going to go out with cannon, feathers, and chimes. And do a little turkey dance out there in the woods and see what happens. We got out there before daylight, and we had our little cannon, and we had our little feathers, and we had our little chimes, and we got set up in this likely spot, and it's starting to get, well, yeah, yeah, sort of light, and timing is sort of critical in this, so I waited until, yeah, could see light breaking. Sun wasn't up yet. No, sun wasn't a long time up. So we were doing this, and then started getting ready. Put the lights up, put the cannon up, and got it in place, and got a little fuse, and we lit it, and come on, come on, come on, three up, 
right out there. And not that terrible far. All right. Now this was working. I put my gun down beside me and I got my feathers out. Because this was going to be fly down noises, remember. So we got feathers and then we went. Well, we got a little carried away there. And at any rate, so I was prancing around and doing my feather thing. And guess what? All of a sudden there was a... Turkeys were coming in! They were landing all around me. I couldn't move! I was standing up there, perched on tippy toes with feathers in hand, and my gun was down there on the ground, and there was a Tom. He was right there. He was only 20 feet in front of me, and I could not move. Because if I moved, they would see me and fly. So the meantime, I was perched up on my tippy toes. And then, whoa. Then, decided, well, maybe if I very, very slowly just crept down to the ground, and maybe I could get close enough to get my gun and grab it right quick and get a shot off. So we tried that. Oh, my legs were starting to hurt bad by that time. So we started sinking down low. And the lower we got, the more unstable we got. To finally, finally, we reached the tipping point. Now I'm a little heavy in the butt. And there was only one piece of cactus in that whole part of the woods. We got a good prickly pear in Georgia, and I had found some. And so I was going down, and my butt went down, on oh, that prickly pear. Ah! Grabbed a gun, turkey started, burr, 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 burr. and no, I didn't get a shot. What? So that was a case where the theory worked, the procedure worked. And everything worked out just fine. But, no turkey. Not that day. So, that's how it ended. Turkey dance with feathers, chimes, and cannon. So if you see a guy out there in the woods and he's dragging his cannon and he's got this whole bag of stuff and don't, don't worry about him too much. He's, he's not crazy. He's just one of those turkey hunters out there trying to do his thing. So just wave and let him go by. He's doing okay. Bye-bye. God bless. Thank you very much. When you are out in the turkey woods, one thing you want to do is be as stealthful as you possibly can. And one way to do this is with turkey treads. Now, turkey treads fit on the bottom of your shoes. They are a special tread that simulates the footprint of a wild turkey. So you leave three-toed tracks and claw marks as you walk. Turkeys have excellent eyesight. And not only can they see you at a long distance, they also see very, very well what's on the ground in front of them. If you walk in places and they see these non-wildlife tracks out there in the environment, they know there's something strange out there. And it doesn't take them very, very long in the season to realize that when they see these strange people tracks, yeah, they better stay away from there if they want to stay alive. And they walk down the same dirt roads and the same paths that you do. So if you want to be really stealthful and sneak up on your turkeys, look for boots with turkey treads on them. Remember, with turkey treads, you tread softly, you tread lightly on the environment, and you tread well. Get your turkey with turkey treads. Among my prize-winning books are Extreme Muzzleloading, Backyard Deer Hunting, Crossbow Hunting, and Practical Bow Fishing. And these are available as softcover and e-books. I have an eight-book e-book series for 2013-14 on muzzleloading guns, and one of the titles is Hunting with Muzzleloading Shotguns and Smoothbore Muskets, which includes turkey hunts. This was written, acted, filmed, and directed by me! For more information on my books, blogs, and videos, go to my website at www.hoviesmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye and God bless.